Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I would like to preface this moto vlog video with an explanation and that way it makes more sense. So prior to this moto vlog, I was attempting to do a moto vlog that completely failed because the microphone setup just did not work at all. And that was because I was using a continuous power supply and I am using the old mic adapter. This block thing here is the old GoPro mic adapter. And the power supply was plugging through the USB-C. But for some reason, that cancels out my mic output. And so the whole video, basically, I was talking, but you guys won't be able to hear me. So... Um, that's my explanation because in this photo blog, I kept referencing to that. Um, I think I referenced a few times about that photo blog and I didn't want to confuse you guys what I meant. So this clip is to explain that reason. Enjoy the rest of the video, guys. Today is another, <laughs> if you guys can hear me, I don't even know if my mic works. Today is another moto vlog day. I'm just literally just running errands today, but I'm trying to do it before it gets really hot because it's supposed to be up in the 80s, high 80s today. And sad to say, I'm really not used to the heat because <laughs> we just came out of winter and I love the cold. <laughs> Every time I ride in the in hot weather, I. <laughs> I get really dehydrated and I know I should be drinking water but I just don't <laughs> I really should though but anyways how is everybody doing I am trying my best to create more moto blogs and uh, I've been pretty busy with other things as if I have successfully created the previous moto blog, which I was testing out my cameras and my mic and my continuous power setup, if that actually was effective, then you guys would have seen that blog. But if not, then this would be it. Basically. All right, maybe you can hear me better when I'm not moving. <sighs> Basically, I've been very busy. As you guys know that I started a blog, but the blog is really not motorcycle centric as a lot of you would hope to see because my channel is mostly motorcycle. But actually, when I started this channel, it wasn't just motorcycle it was mostly actually traveling i started my youtube channel even before i started riding but i got consumed by motorcycle when i started riding all i did was work on my bike and you know learn how to ride so i was riding a lot and um, doing a lot of group rides and just meeting up with friends to ride and etc etc but now <laughs> uh, that was like years ago when my motorcycle friends they're they've all since moved out of the bay area they've kind of scattered everywhere so to say and life has gotten busier and busier <laughs> basically working towards retirement is what i would call it i really need to start thinking about retirement because uh, the type of job that I have, as you guys know, I I had a few jobs as a nurse, but uh, last just last year I decided to quit one of them because I started. Okay, let me backtrack. <laughs> so during COVID, I had a bunch of medical issues that I had to take care of, so there was a lot of downtime for me where I couldn't work at all and that got me thinking how can I make money without 
having to come to work as a nurse because prior to prior to that i actually enjoyed what i'm doing like i love being a nurse I love doing stuff that makes me feel good helping other people. But reality is that uh, that kind of job is very labor intensive. And it's not, uh, it, it kind of wears you down physically. And on top of that, I work on bikes. And before that, I used to work on cars. And um, honestly, I don't think my body is meant for that. <laughs> I'm just forcing it. And um, compounding throughout the years, that kind of labor just t takes a toll on my body overall. So I uh, started researching ways of trying to make this, you know, make a more sustainable type of, uh, I wouldn't say career, just a more sustainable life in general. And so a few changes the past few years I've made was to quit the second job so now I, I literally only just have one nursing job and that job is not even full time. It's actually a contract job. Oh, here. <laughs> I tried to make it a point to donate <laughs> and declutter because I'm also, <laughs> I, I, I like, um, I don't know, that's just me. If I'm not going to use it, I'm just going to donate it so other people can use it. Good morning. Good, how are you? Did your brother get his bike? He should get a he should get a smaller bike. I know. Is he gonna get like a thousand cc? Oh my god, no. <laughs> um Yeah, it's a, a pet it's a fountain. My dogs don't like it. They're scared of when the fount when the water <laughs> Yeah, but it's pretty. <laughs> it creates a, and um, yeah, it does. <laughs> and more clothes. <laughs> oh yes, please. Thank you so much. How you been? Bye. Okay, it's still recording. So. So, anyways. My point to this is that I actually started researching investing. I before that I was already passively investing. You know, through work they offer retirement plans and stuff like that like target date 2060 or whatever year you think you're going to be retiring or going to turn 65 or something like that but I got curious how other people can earn money through their investments and because I had so much downtime because of the hospital and recovery and all that stuff I had two years essentially where I didn't make any money from nursing okay so things that I've learned is that you <laughs> I don't want to make <clears throat> actually I just realized before I go too much into it the reason why I started the blog is because I wanted to it's kind of like my notebook I would like to say it's my notebook so things that I am focusing on is retirement traveling I love to travel and I love riding I love motorcycles but let's face it like I said I don't think I will be able to do a lot of working on the bike at this point because until now I'm still healing from my actually I saw a physical therapy and he actually told me that I was compromising my wrist and that's why my wrist is really weak and that I need to work on my shoulder he noticed that my shoulder mobility is really bad and he said that it's actually contributing um, 
what caused it most of the time is the sitting on a computer and kind of uh, sitting down and working on a desk. That's usually the cause of that. So I am working on that. There's a lot of things I wanted to do to the bikes. Like uh, my brother gave me a few parts for the 701. Months ago, haven't installed it, end up not installing it at all. That's how bad my wrist injury is. Like uh, I'm, if I can do one thing that I can choose, because uh, everything aggravates my wrist, it would be riding. That's it. I'm not gonna do not any. I'm not gonna do anything else because if I work on anything, working on a bike or working a lot, that's why. Um, if I work a lot uh, at my job, there's a lot of wrist movements and fine motor movements that also aggravates it. So I am creating a balance of where I'm not too angry by working so much just to make money to retire but be able to actually enjoy my time off because what was happening was i was getting so focused on making money and uh, being able to retire sooner from nursing and when i say retire guys i don't mean to be like hey i'm gonna go sit back and relax like no i i want to be done with nursing i don't want to do that anymore because i want a job i don't hmm, excuse me i do not want a job <laughs> But I want to do something that I like and not have to have another job where I have to go to work and uh, and basically hurt my, uh, you know, revisit or re-experience my injuries because it's repetitive work. If you think about it, this is all repetitive work and no matter how many physical therapy and workout or whatever you do, if you do things over and over again, it's gonna come back. The injury is gonna come back. That's just how it is. <clears throat> and I'm just so over it. I'm really over it. Uh, I'm actually, I'm actually doing really well in terms of uh, capital allocation and researching investments and all that. That I am able to quit my second job. I was able to. Uh, and another thing, uh, one one thing. I don't know if I told you guys is that picking investments and getting investments that are paying dividends so that I don't have to sell them in order to cr create an income which is great uh, my goal is that well there's also the <laughs> the taxes and sorry I'm a, if I'm kind of scatterbrained, but when I am riding, it's hard for me to also focus and talk to you guys about this. So it might, the subject might be kind of jumping all over the place, I would say. But we also moved farther from the Bay Area to save money. And that really made the biggest difference because uh, we essentially live next door to San Francisco like I can walk to San Francisco that's how close we are we're right we're the city right next to it I live by the beach that's why my previous moto blogs you guys just see me all the time by the coast um, it's really nice I love it there um, if money isn't an issue I'd be there to be honest with you because it's so close to the airport and I love to travel but you know money is sort of an issue right now so <laughs> and if I have to pick and choose what I want to do, right? If I want to <laughs> get off this job sooner, then I have to make some sacrifices and that's that's basically one of the one of them. Okay, in terms of investments in the United States, there's different types of retirement investments that you can do, like Roth IRAs, traditional IRAs. You can use your your employer um can offer 401k or 403b or 457 and I suggest you guys use it don't delay anything if if anything the the one thing <laughs> that I wish I had is I had done is to have done it sooner that's all like I wish I had done this sooner because I would have had 
<laughs> more money in my retirement bank and um, probably not be working as a nurse anymore at right now <laughs> that's that's how much I wish I started sooner so I was too excited to be able to spend money because <laughs> prior to having a career it was li life is tough I would just say that so um, I wasn't thinking about retirement at all because I mean hey why why should I do that <laughs> why do those things when I can now buy my all the bikes that I want, etc., cetera, etc., cetera. <laughs> and you know things like that. We just um, not focused on. I was just focused on other things. I would say because I've always wanted to do something where I am not, where I could travel and actually. I don't mind working. Working isn't the issue. The issue is doing something I don't really like to do, and that is basically. Um, breaking my body as a you know as a nurse is I didn't think that would happen because you know when you're young you're like I'm so strong I can do anything and then they just give you so many heavy lifting assignments and next thing you know you're broken left and right and it's not really you don't get back to how you were once that happens you just have to manage things like chronic conditions that arises those you don't go back to normal it's you just manage it long-term goals still applies like I still wish and I still hope that when I am able to with the if I have enough time allotted and I'm able to um, monetarily wise be able to um, afford the like moto travel abroad I, I do want to do that but uh, I do want to do that with Kyle. Um, he will not be happy if I do that by myself because I, I've thought about it and I actually have asked him about it. <laughs> I said, hey, um, he, he's even busier, guys. Like, he, he can't even get away from work. He's, I was thinking of... I was actually... Yeah, I really want to go back to Sweden. Um, it's been a long time now since I've last been there. I think 2018 was the last time. Yeah, it's been a while. Um, and then I do want to go to the Philippines to do a moto trip, but I, I'm not sure exactly where I could rent a motorcycle. And I, I only want to do... So I grew up in the Philippines. <laughs> And I really hate the traffic there. <laughs> Every time I come back, I really hate going to Manila. But all my family is in Manila. But I really only enjoy motorcycle riding in the countryside. It's so relaxing and peaceful. <laughs> so the, the conundrum is, I don't know where to rent even a moped. Like, I, I'm okay with just a moped. I don't care. <laughs> Or even a tricycle, guys, for those Filipinos out there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it would be fun to do that. So, in the meantime, I don't think that that is possible anytime soon. Because uh, motorcycle rentals tack on a lot of costs to your budget. And so, with that said, I can't... Uh, if I want to keep traveling, I have to do it. If I want to keep traveling, I have to just forego it for now, unfortunately. But hey, I'm not traveling all the time, so I get to ride my nice bike. And that's another thing is I really prefer to ride my own bike. Because I feel like, oh my god, what if I drop their bike? I don't want to drop other people's bikes. And guys, you've seen this. When I was off-roading and I dropped my bike, look what happened. <laughs> I don't want to do that to somebody else's bike. So, yeah, at least my bike, I don't care, you know. Um, I don't want to make the video too long, but I hope that you guys enjoyed today's short motoblog and ride session. And I really enjoy your guys' comments. Now it's my turn to ask questions. 
who here is also working towards their financial freedom I know you guys that are watching my videos mostly watching it because of the motorcycle but also I mean come on like I'm pretty sure you guys want to just ride and not have to go to work right <laughs> that's the wrong way to say it. I'm not saying it in like a negative way I'm just saying that don't you wish you have more time to do what you like to do although I have met other people who really like their job and those guys you guys are lucky you guys are really lucky and I envy you because a lot of us are stuck doing what we don't like to do in order to survive <laughs> Anyways, uh, I'd like to hear you guys' comments. Oh, one more thing. <laughs> one more thing. Uh, any women or anybody out there that knows of... Um, uh, I'm looking for a, a cheap arrow stitch secondhand. <laughs> if you guys are have wives or um, girlfriends or know somebody who um, is selling theirs I'm, I'm getting tired of wearing pants and jackets and I'm I don't want to spend money on buying uh, I don't want to spend money buying another new set of brand new gear honestly so I'm just trying to find the second hand uh, arrow stitch the R R3 light because um, it's lightweight yeah um, I would like to try that and uh, yeah I guess that's it thank you so much for watching guys I would love to hear your comments in the comment section below sorry for rambling like I said it's really hard for me to auto blog I don't do it a lot so and I I'm not great at multitasking I like to focus on a single task at hand and my number one priority when riding is to focus on the road and to focus on not crashing and to be aware on, of my surroundings so uh, sometimes blabbing uh, I seem to blab instead of compose my thoughts and be able to organize them in a in a more articulate manner I would say <laughs> Uh, yeah ride safe guys thank you so much for watching my videos and if you do like them and would like to support the channel don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you guys on the next video I promise to do more moto vlogs I just need more topics <laughs> I don't want to I, I ride around a lot but most of the time I don't talk when I'm riding so talking and writing, that's really a skill that I'm practicing on. So give me some topics to cover. Thank you so much, guys. See you.